Hi, my name is Jake Young. Um, I'm outside, standing outside the StarCraft um, Autumn Ridge 20MB. It's about 25 overall feet long, just over 4,000 pounds. I'm going to go over a few cool things on the outside, and then we're going to head on the inside and check that out also. First, we're going to check out the power tongue jack over here. It's just simple up and down with a button. It does have a nice little LED light, so if you're ever hooking up at night, it's nice and easy for you. So up here we have the two 30-pound propane tanks with a nice propane tank cover here. Um, what's nice about the two 30-pounders is usually on a unit this size, you're getting two 20-pound propane tanks. So that extra propane is going to be really nice for you to have. Um, the diamond shield also up front here is just looks nice, but it's good for the rock protection and chips. You're not going to get all the chips on the tin of the camper. So that's a nice protection. Um, Quick here, if you look at the A-frame of the camper, it is integrated through the frame, so it's just going to be more stable for you, um, unlike some campers where they have the hung A-frame. So overall, this integrated A-frame is just going to be more stable for the camper itself. I'm going to move on to the front here. It is wired for portable solar panels. So you just have this nice connection here. You can plug in some portable solar panels, which would keep your battery charging and maintained if you're camping without any electricity. So that's definitely a nice benefit there. Um, coming down through, you do have some nice pass-through storage compartments here. It's always nice to have uh, outside storage for a camper, for your lawn chairs, for your grills, instead of having to pack everything up in the camper or in your vehicle. Um, power awning, a Solera awning, power. So it's just a button on the inside of the camper, so nice and easy for you. It also is self-adjusting, so you can pitch the awning so the water can run off uh, either side if it's raining, or you can also block the sun if it's coming in at a, a weird angle for you. Um, I'm going to jump over here real quick. It is a double axle unit, which is again very nice, so it's going to be more stable than a single axle unit. You're not going to get that, that tail wagging back and forth. Um, it does have a three-year limited structural warranty. It's going to be a one-year bumper-to-bumper and a three-year structural warranty. And then also, I just wanted to quick point out, you do have a quick connect propane connection back here by the bumper. That is really nice to have. So if you do have a camping grill, you can hook it right to this propane connection. So instead of bringing your own propane, you can utilize the propane that's already connected to the front of the camper. It is prepped for a Furon backup camera. That is a really nice feature to have for when you're backing into the campsite. You can see what's behind you so you're not running into anything. And it is that big fisheye lens so you can really see what's back there as you're backing up. Um, like most campers, it is going to come with a full-size spare tire. So just in case you need to replace that tire, you're going to have that full-size spare tire back there. One other thing on the outside, which you can't see, but underneath you have the enclosed heated underbelly. So not only is it enclosed, it does have a heat duct running underneath there. So you're not going to get those frozen tanks. You are able to have water in the system a little bit longer um, in the winter than you would without that heated enclosed underbelly. Around the back side of the camper, where your water connections are, there is what they call a black tank flush. That allows you to hook a water hose to the connection, and that is going to rinse out your black tank so you never develop sensor problems or any unwanted smells coming out of the black tank. Um, one quick feature on the outside, too, is you do have in the awning pole speakers on either side. So when you do have your music going, you can have music on the outside of the camper without bringing your own radio. Also here on the outside, you are going to have a couple outlets, which is going to be really nice if you ever want to hook up an outside TV or a mini fridge. It's just going to be nice to have these outside outlets for the outside of the camper. All right, let's check out the inside of this 20 MB. So now we're in the StarCraft Autumn Ridge 20 MB. Um, the MB stands for Murphy Bed, so I'm going to demonstrate how the Murphy Bed works. You do have this nice jackknife couch. Uh, it goes flat very easily, jackknifes down. And then you have these two latches on either side, which is going to keep the Murphy bed up for when you're using the couch. 
and that is just going to drop down nice and flat and you have your mattress here the nice thing what I personally like about this Murphy bed is you can keep the bed made, you can keep your pillows, you can keep everything on here for when you're flipping the bed back up for when you're using the couch during the day. So keep everything on here. Bed flips up nice and easy. Got a latch on this side. This side. And now you are ready for the day. That easy. You do have USB charging ports on each side of the bed. You also have nice hanging racks on both sides of the bed with a nice little drawer underneath. And all the drawers on the inside of this camper are 75 pound drawer glides made out of nice plywood. Coming over here to the kitchen, you do have seamless countertops. You don't have seams that water can seep into at all. Uh, you have the nice full sink here. Microwave, you do have a nice uh, hood fan that is going to vent anything out if you're cooking inside. You have a three burner cooktop. It's also recessed down. You have this nice glass lid that is going to go over it so you can have more countertop space overall when you're not using that cooktop. Um, you do have a nice little camp oven also that's you know big enough for frozen pizzas, little things for, for camping. A uh, little cool thing they do is these blue lights also when you're turning on the oven it's going to turn red so you know that you have a burner on. Over here to the dinette you have a nice full dinette which does drop down flat for another sleeping area. Also, there is some storage underneath the, you, the dinette here so you can store under both bench seats. Um, underneath the table, you do have two more outlets. They're going to put outlets everywhere they can because nowadays everyone wants to charge their computers, charge their phones. So you're going to have outlets everywhere you can. Coming over here, we do have the six cubic foot gas and electric refrigerator. Um, this is really nice to have. Um, it can run on either your power cord or it can run on propane. It does also have what they call the auto setting. What that's going to do for you if the power goes out at night, it will automatically switch to propane for you so you wake up to a still nice and cold refrigerator. Um, quick down below the refrigerator, that is where your heat duct is. This does have a furnace running through the whole camper. Um, it is also going to have a 13.5 BTU air conditioner for the camper also. Back here in the back you do have a bathroom sink which is going to be really nice because a lot of times in these smaller campers you don't get a bathroom sink so in this particular model you are getting a bathroom sink. You do have some storage above and below the sink also so you can keep all your bathroom stuff in one area instead of all throughout the camper. Back here in the bathroom, you do have a nice tub shower and then the, the foot pedal flush toilet. So nice and easy. Use your foot. Don't have to touch anything. Um, hot and cold. Uh, also with a, a fan inside the bathroom so you can vent everything out. You're not getting steam if you're taking showers in there. We have two double over double bunk beds with 600 pound capacity, which is really nice. Um, a lot of those single bunk beds have 300 pound capacity, so this is giving you more weight weight rating uh, with solid plywood frame here. Um, also with the double over double bunk beds the kids are going to grow into them. You don't have to have the single bunk beds. The kids are going to be able to fit in here a lot longer or even adults can fit in these. Also underneath you're going to have a nice big storage compartment here so you can throw whatever things you might not need a whole lot underneath the bunk bed. There is plug-ins on both bunk beds. Both top and bottom do have plug-ins, so you can charge your phones, tablets, whatever the kids might need. So out here in the main living area, you do have nice solid wood cabinet doors here. That's just gonna be nice, nice solid feel. It's not gonna be rocking down the road, rocking back and forth as you're going down the road. Uh, another thing is you have all LED lights on the inside of the camper. So if you are someone that dry camps does not have power, it's gonna take a lot less battery power for you because of these LED lights. All your blinds in the camper are the nice room darkening blinds that you're just gonna pull down and push up when you're done. So nice and easy to use, easy to clean, 
Don't have to worry about those for traveling, rattling around, or anything like that. Well, that was the StarCraft Autumn Ridge 20 MB. I look forward to seeing you guys out at Hilltop. Thank you for your time.